guys can meet Allison, aka the voice of Rio. She's also done a lot of voices of your childhood, which is really, really cool. And today, we are going to teach her how to play the game. And in a couple of days, there's going to be a tournament amongst other VAs. But the thing is, is we're going to win. That's the attitude we need, right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that I am the greatest duelist on my street? And I am going to literally teach you how to win this tournament in a couple of days. Oh, damn. Well, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm and ready by, to learn from the best. And by I'm the greatest duelist in my street, I mean chat's gonna literally build us the most cracked deck of all time. <laughs> <laughs> you just need a heart of the cards. That's all that's all that matters. You've never played before, right? At all? No. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. The the big question I always get, like, is Yu-Gi-Oh! hard to learn? And the answer is yes and no. No, it's pretty easy to pick up. The I guess the the learning curve comes to learning curve comes to knowing how to craft your deck to your playstyle, that makes sense. So a good place to start is to actually get the structure decks. So what we're going to do today is we're going to use those structure decks that are featured in the game right now. Featured in what I just showed you. And again, if you look at my screen, um, this is what we're we'll running. This is basically called uh, Brave Hope, which goes up the Utopia engine. Okay. So uh, step one, go to uh, Dual Studio. I just sent you a challenge. Click on any of those characters you see on the screen right there. I want this person. And then uh, hit Dual. Okay. So lucky for you. Uh, this is going to be pretty simple. In the world of Yugu, you have so many different mechanics to think about. Yeah. But uh, in the situation that we have here and Duel Links, it's a bit more slower but faster, if that makes sense. So in regular Yugi, there's uh, five zones, as you, are, I'm sure you're away from the show. In Speed Duels, the whole point of it is is to be, as it sounds, faster. So instead of having five spaces for summons and spells and traps, you have three. You also only have two aspects of the turn. So in regular Yu-Gi-Oh, you have the main phase, the battle phase, and then the main phase two. Here, you just have main phase and battle phase. So in this situation, you actually have a pretty good starting hand. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to summon the first card. Okay. Utopic Automatopia. So, so just normal summon? Mm-hmm. And then we're going to do it in attack mode. And then again, nice little animation. Cool. You have options. So each one of these cards you're adding will have a special effect. I would go with this one. So I would grab this one out to your hand. So what this one does is when you equip it to your Utopia, your Utopia will uh, be immune from being targeted by card effects, which is very, very important in this game. Okay. So let's go with that one. So since you went first, all you can do now is end your turn. What I noticed about Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links as opposed to the, the full game, going second is more advantageous here as opposed to going first. In the real game, you want to go first because whoever sets up their board first will have the will basically win. Here, you set up your board, and then whoever goes second can then react. So they set up the board, and then they also get to attack, which we are, yeah. get to do now. The reason why attack position is important in this situation is if you set it, then you won't be able to summon cards from your extra deck with a face down, unless it's like a specific situation that allows for it. And now we're going to go into attack. So now you can just uh, attack with both cards. And how do I do that? Either click on the card and choose attack, or just click on the card and swipe forward. Dang. And then um, you're gonna do it again with the second card. And obviously once you go from 4,000 life points to zero, you win. <laughs> now obviously when we do the tournament and you do go up against the other players, it won't be as simple and easy. <laughs> to hear my own voice screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I was like, oh, I think that's me screaming in <laughs> defeat. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> yeah. so, so here's what I took from that first lesson. Okay. You are building certain things that will like cause other things to happen. Yes. And you want to build that before you start attacking the opponent so that you are like set up in such a way that your mm -hmm. offensive and defensive moves can sustain whatever might come your way. Is yep. that correct? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Okay, cool. The most important thing about Yu-Gi-Oh! And the joke is, no one does this, is you have to basically read. Every card <laughs> has an effect. And a lot of times, yeah, I do this all the time, but I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to read. I'm just going to trust my gut. And then I end up losing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But basically, the the way it works is, is every card you draw will have a certain effect that has synergy with each other. It's it's very overwhelming at first, but I promise once you've done this a handful of times, it's yeah. a walk in the park. I make the mistake all the time where I don't fully read something. Yeah. It's it's part of the game. Yu-Gi-Oh! 
has very specific rules sometimes with how the cards work so for example yeah it'll say something like activate this when your opponent does something but if you're like in the battle step it doesn't count like the the way text is written is specific and even the the smallest comma or period will make a difference, difference. <laughs> it makes a difference and yeah. even to this day i'm still learning what that means let's do that one so go ahead and summon okay. attack mode now that you have both monsters on the field and they're both level fours do you know what the next step is uh i think i'm gonna go to my deck over here right yep and we're gonna special and summon special summon mm -hmm. so let's just keep it simple we'll bring out utopia again you can summon it and then confirm and then attack mode we're gonna summon the <laughs> dodo -do witch Oh, we actually, we have Lightning Blade in our hand. I just realized. Click on that. And then activate the effect. Completely forgot that that was in our hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Dodo -do Driver can gain love through level 5. Okay, so that's what you're basically going to do. Oh, rude. I love Again. how he just. <laughs> this is like what? A 13 year old girl, and then Kaiba's a grown man. Just get out of my she sight. She's younger than 13 <laughs> to me. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is, is I'm going to send you another invite. I want to have you get some experience against like a real player. So, I'm going to do something you're not supposed to do in Yu Gi Oh! I'm going to look at your hand. <laughs> and I'm going to basically walk you through to beating me. <laughs> okay, so this is the most important part of Yu Gi Oh! The coin flip. I always say if you lose a coin flip, you lose. Did I win? I think I won. So I got to go first. My hand is not good. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah, it is. So I summoned this. So now I get to summon this. So this is already going to look familiar to you. Oh, wait a minute. I misplayed. <laughs> this is a classic uh, rhyme moment right here. Okay, so I think your your best bet will be to, to set the second card. Yeah, just go ahead and summon that and then go into your Utopia. And now you're gonna have a massive advantage over me. Summon a monster. And then I would probably attack my attack position monster so you can get the the damage to my life points. My monster attacks. Accurate effect and attach that to your utopia. Utopia. Okay. Yep. Go for attack here. Okay. Now, luckily, you attacked uh, the wrong face down card because the other one I had set actually has an effect for utopia. Rise on up, number 39, Utopia. So I get to flip this now and activate the effect and attach. To Utopia. So I'm able to activate my effect now by removing one card from my field or from my card. I can negate your attack. Also, I realized that I'm running out of time. So the timer in this game, when you hit zero, you just lose. Oh, dang. Yes, yeah, so you have a. It adds a little pressure. If you attack by zero or life points monster, I lose. That's the one on the left. But I can't negate that. Oh, wait. I, can't, I couldn't negate it. I hit no. I hit the accident! <laughs> when any monster declares an attack, you can detach. Okay, so that was uh, my fault. <laughs> I feel like that was a really good, like, first go. Mm -hmm. And I'm looking forward to practicing. But yeah, my brain started to just fully plummet. <laughs> yeah, that, that sounds about Yu-Gi-Oh. Because I think we kind of covered the basis of how to play. And, yeah, yeah. I, I would love to call it and, and come back to this with fresh eyes. Okay, we can do that. Well, thank you so much for teaching me. <laughs> <laughs> it's jumping into Yu-Gi-Oh, it, it's, it's a lot at first, but you get used to it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm excited to keep learning like the nitty gritty mechanics of it. Because I feel like once you like know them better, it's easier to figure out what does what with what. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. Well, uh, we're easily going to win this tournament, and this is going to be the yeah. freest tournament you've it's ever been It's going to be in the back. <laughs> yep. <laughs> well, thank you for playing. It was nice meeting you, and I'm looking forward to you too. Uh, the actual showdown. Oh, yeah. All right, I'll talk to you soon. See you.